Hey, the big holiday movies, they are here, and some big pictures are headed to the theaters. Which one to check out, which one to miss? We've Skyped in with movie expert Mark Walters from BigFanboy.com to give us the lowdown. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mitch, how are you? Well, congratulations on six years with BigFanboy.com. A uh, lot of movies already out this season. I guess the biggest one opened up last week, right? Yeah, Tron Legacy, a big month for Jeff Bridges. He's got two big movies a week apart. Tron Legacy from Disney is just rocking and rolling. And I got to tell you, this is a great month for me. Okay, now how did they find a young Jeff Bridges? I'm freaking out. That's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing what they can do these days with CGI technology. Even Bridges himself was saying he couldn't believe. He said pretty soon they're not going to need him anymore. They're just going to be so. When I first saw the trailer for, the, for Tron, it brought back so many memories. I literally got goosebumps. Let's move on, though. Uh, the first time I saw uh, the, the Beat the Parents, maybe a little bit of chill bumps, but now the third episode of, uh, the, I guess, the trilogy, if you will, Meet the Fockers, or Little Fockers, rather. Tell us about that. Little Fockers kind of follows in the footsteps of the whole Meet the Parents trilogy, and now it kind of concentrates a little bit more on the kids uh -huh. and what the kids' reactions are to these parents and grandparents and everything. Um, you know, it, it's got an interesting cast. It's got some fun stuff going on in it. I got to tell you, I'm not really blown away with the trailers, but it, it could surprise me. Yeah, it looked like the trailers the same jokes kind of going over and over. So, yeah. you think it'll be a holiday classic? I mean, that people are watching all the time? You know, people love these films. I mean, there's something about Robert De Niro and Ben Stiller. These guys, <laughs> they've got a good on screen chemistry together. Uh, I, I think it's, you know, any kind of comedy like this, this time of the year, it's, it's well, a solid bet. All right, let's go to a classic, True Grit. And we were talking about Jeff Bridges. Uh, give people the background of this movie and what they can expect. Well, now, True Grit, of course, uh, a remake of the classic John Wayne movie, uh, which also starred Robert Duvall, Dennis Hopper, really great, phenomenal cast in that original film. This is by the Coen brothers, and it features Jeff Bridges. It features uh, 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 Matt Damon, Josh Brolin, wow. a newcomer, Haley Steinfeld. Uh, it, it looks terrific. I love everything that the Coen brothers do, and the idea of the Coen brothers doing a Western with the dude, <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm totally sold. All right, next up, Gulliver's Travel, Jack Black's next installment of the told, told, or the told tale, should I say, that we see over and over. You know, this is funny, because the first time I saw a trailer for this, actually the first time I saw a poster, I immediately thought, this looks like one of those joke films yeah. from Tropic Thunder. <laughs> it did. It doesn't even look like a real movie. Um, you know, yeah, and it seems like they really, I mean, have told and told the story. Are we expecting Jack Black? Are we seeing anything different from him? I think that, you know, Jack Black, I mean, he's always, he's always a safe bet, and nowadays he's becoming kind of almost more of a kid star than he is yeah. an adult star. And I think maybe that's a smart move for him. This is a good time of year for kids' movies like this, and this looks like a good kids' film. Cool. Yeah, and the kids can grow up with him. Finally, uh, country strong Gwyneth Paltrow tries her chopping singing chops again. How does she do? You know what? She did a great job on the CMA. She came out there. She was a little nervous at first, but she really knocked it out of the park. I think this could be a really strong move for her in, in the direction she wants to go with her singing career. Also features Tron Legacy's Garrett Hedlund, too. Oh, wow. Tron's just throwing out uh, uh, stars left and right. And also, we remember her from Huey Lewis uh, when she did that movie Duets. And Duets, she was all her right. there. Okay, cool stuff. Now, if you want more details, thank you, Mark, for this or any of the other movies. You can always check out bigfanboy.com. Don't worry about it. We've got all the links on our website. Head there right now. It's dailybuzz.com. Uh, dailybuzz and just click on the section you'll see right there on the front.